It's Thursday, December 26th here in Seoul. I'm Oh Jin Ju, and you're watching Korea Now. We start today with increased U.S. surveillance over the Korean Peninsula amid North Korean threats of provocation. The United States has been keeping a close eye on any unusual military movement in North Korea on Christmas Day amid the regime's threat that it will send an unwanted Christmas gift to President Donald Trump. Washington had prepared to respond to any possible North Korean provocation, flying four surveillance planes over the Korean Peninsula between Tuesday and early Wednesday. It's unusual for the U.S. to fly four reconnaissance planes all at the same time, an indication that Washington is on alert for a threatened Christmas gift from the North. A Pentagon spokesperson said Wednesday that the U.S. and its allies stand ready to defend themselves even on Christmas Day. Christmas Day has come and gone with no sign of provocation from the North, but Washington isn't letting its guard down, as the regime is capable of carrying out a provocation at any time, and there isn't any significant card the North can use to revive dialogue with the U.S. South Korea's presidential office says it's almost certain that Chinese President Xi Jinping will visit Seoul in the first half of next year. According to a senior presidential aide on Wednesday, the two sides still have to work out the final details of his visit, including a specific date. President Moon on Monday during a summit talks with the Chinese leader invited President Xi to South Korea in 2020. If President Xi does indeed make a trip to Seoul, as announced by Chong Wade, it would be his first since President Moon took office in 2017. The last time Xi visited South Korea was in 2014. The planned visit by Xi is fueling expectations that the two countries might be able to completely resolve the THAAD conflict next year. Two BTS albums have re-entered the Billboard 200 this week. According to the latest chart dated December 28th, the septet's Love Yourself Answer ranked number 170. This album had debuted on top of the same chart right after its release in August last year and had been on it for 31 consecutive weeks. Even 16 months after it hit the market, the album is still going strong, making re-entries a number of times. Meanwhile, Map of the Soul Persona, released in April, came in at number 178. These two albums are ranked on other Billboard charts as well. Love Yourself Answer ranks fourth, while Map of the Soul Persona ranks second on the World Albums chart, and the former stands at number eight and the latter at number four on the Independent Albums chart. And there's for the top headlines for today. You can always check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for your daily news feed.